One Bread, One Cup is different from other conferences because it's a more spiritual experience. You come here and you see 200 kids that are excited to learn whatever it is you throw at them. Here you have tradition, but they make it fun so kids learn to love and grow in their religion. And that's why the One Bread, One Cup experience is like so amazing. This experience is really a great way to just come closer to God. One Bread, One Cup is really unlike any other experience I've ever had. They really help you get back in touch with your faith because you see all the kids and like how passionate they are for being Catholic and being Christian. One Bread, One Cup is five focus days with a committed community, and we focus on the word, sacrament, and mission of the church, specifically within the Mass. One Bread, One Cup really helps you realize each part of the Mass and why it's so special. You're surrounded by 22 college interns, as well as 60, 70 monks that are living on this hill, and the, the balance of those who it's really something dynamic. You know, the kids when they walk in can kind of be a little skeptical, you know, that their pastor has invited them to go away to a monastery for a week, and so they walk in just a little, a little skeptical about it, and when they leave, they're asking, can they come back next year? One Bread, One Cup helps high school youth strengthen their Catholic faith through a better understanding of the sacraments, mass, and the mission of the church. The high school participants mix with college interns, campus and youth ministers, and the monks of St. Meinrich as they study together, pray together, and have fun together. Through it all, they deepen their faith together. I think the best thing is the theological reflection groups, the time that you have at night to reflect on your day. Being young, you know, you go on the computer at night, you listen to your iPod at night, you talk on the phone at night, you text people at night. You don't take enough time to think about God and think about the way he's impacted your day. And St. Mayan Red really helps you connect that with your life. This is what stories are all about. They're about things that happen. This year I actually am involved with the chant and it's awesome because it's just so different from the norm. And it's just been a great experience for me. You get to bond with kids that you haven't met ever before. You learn new things about them, and it's fun because you get to have fun during free time. It's really beautiful. The scenery is great. I love everything around here. And you bunk with a lot of other guys, and you get to meet and make friends with your roommates. Something else that's is very powerful is reconciliation service where you just see the youth go into the Arch Abbey Church after a procession throughout the Arch Abbey grounds. They sit in the choir stalls that are reserved for the monks typically, and they examine their consciences, they pour over their souls, and they see where they are strong, where there are challenges in their life. Just seeing that examination, and then seeing the joy in their faces after they experience the sacrament is, is a powerful thing to witness and experience myself. My absolute favorite time during the conferences is the closing liturgy on the last day. Um, it's a chance for all of the youth participants to take on the roles that they've learned within the liturgy. They're being Eucharistic ministers, they're servers, they're taking the roles of Mass, and it's great to see them take those roles over and really make this their own. This new level of participation is meant to go home with the participants. One Bread, One Cup seeks to nurture leadership skills that young people can put to use in their dioceses, parishes, and high schools. St. Mindred really opened my eyes to how much of a leadership quality I have. I always knew I had it for school and like when I play sports, but um, it really opened my eyes how much I could lead with my faith too. So the server acolyte person probably has a little more to do. I think they learned really what it meant to live out a Catholic Christian lifestyle. And when, I, when they got home in the parish, really found them energized to share that with their peers. That's where the spirit of One Bread, One Cup lies, is, is at home. It's not here on the hill. It's at home where we can live out what we've, what we've gained, what we've learned, what we've, what we've experienced. It's not one of those experiences where 
you, you feel it, and then whenever you leave, it's, it's gone. This experience stays with you forever. Sarah, you can see me even if he can't, so just you kind of see it. One Bread, One Cup strives to reach high school youth on a deep and meaningful level. That's why music, which is so important to youth, is such an integral part of the experience. The way it is here, they have the violin, the flute, the piano, the voices. They bring in uh, current artists who work with the youth, and the youth get to participate and like actually play all the songs. It's really a great time because you, you get exposed to a lot of music that you don't always hear at your church every day. By the second day of this conference, everyone is singing, and no one cares if someone isn't very good at it. And by the last day, when we sing One Bread, One Cup, you can just feel how much it means to everyone. They all know the words, and they don't just sing the words. These kids are actually praying it. They actually feel the words they say. Participants also find inspiration from perhaps a more unexpected source. The monks of St. Mindred, who teach at the conference and share their Benedictine tradition and values. When the teens come here to a monastery that's 150 years old, uh, part of an order that's 1,500 years old, they really get a sense of being a part of the church that's bigger than just their home parish. You develop this idea of, um, of balance and rhythm that the monks have in their Benedictine um, values, and, and you take a part of that home with you. The monks who work with the youth are really great because they know how to interact with youth and they're really funny and entertaining. We were a little scared at first, I'm not going to lie, because all the black, you know, you're just like, are they really like solemn, like you see like on TV, but they're not at all, they're the most friendliest people. We're not commercials and we're not cartoon cutouts. Monastic life is something that we're dedicated to, that we love, and that we are anxious to share with them. It's really the idea of the Catholic Church is to be a community, and so you're praying and working with other people who also really want to be here, really want to pray and work, really want to have that community life. The One Bread, One Cup community also includes college students in the College Ministerial Internship Program, a prestigious six-week offering for students who are in a ministry formation program or discerning a call to ministry or other church service. It's a group of around 20 college interns that come together to St. Mindred for the summer. They spend three weeks in formation with one another, attending various classes, uh, focusing on different parts of the liturgy. The other three weeks are spent leading the One Bread, One Cup conferences. So what will happen is Tim will take that beam back I like having college interns that are closer to my age. It gives you a sense that they've been through the same things as you. They're a little bit older. You can feel like you can talk to them. They're all friendly. The college interns at One Bread, One Cup are the biggest role models. They have qualities that you find in a select amount of people, but they know God and they know how to portray it. The College Ministerial Internship Program gives young adults from all over North America the opportunity to enrich their lives in a program focused on Benedictine tradition and spirituality. The best way to describe the stay at St. Minard in the six weeks that we spend here is the idea of Benedictine balance. The motto, ora et laboro, prayer and work, and then also included with that is the common life, so a life of community, a life of enjoying being together with people of faith. By the time the conferences come around, we have developed that sense of balance and rhythm through life, and then we can incorporate that into the various classes and in our lives as leaders during the conference. One Bread, One Cup also provides formation to campus and youth ministers who bring students to the conference, striving to make it a rewarding experience for them, too. There's lots of time to kind of step back and evaluate your own ministry and your own personal, uh, your own personal spiritual growth. It's okay for me to take a walk, to spend some time in the chapel, to read a good book, to do some journaling. It's kind of like a retreat where every once in a while you need to go away and get recharged and so it's kind of like a spiritual booster shot. I brought that just in case. One Bread, One Cup helps young people explore, understand, and participate in the word, the sacrament, and the mission of the Roman Catholic Church. It strengthens their faith and our future. 
individually and as a community. They will discover so much not only about themselves, but about the church and the liturgy that they may have never even known before. And it offers uh, what I think is a uniquely Catholic leadership conference, one that is unlike anything else out there. Uh, learning about the sacraments all week, about the word, mission, and sacrament, um, and then applying that in real life, in the Mass, um, is something that is just is very, very powerful. They're really making a statement by coming that the church is important to them, their faith is important to them, Christ is important to them. Had I not had this experience with One Bread, One Cup as a participant, I think my view and my love for the Mass and for the church itself um, would not be what it is today. It's an experience of a lifetime. I've never felt something as I have here. You, you feel so close to God. If someone wants to deepen their faith, this is definitely the way to do it.